The following may contain language that is not suitable for all audiences. It's time for the Low Fact Podcast. Wow. Well, we've been away for a little bit, but uh, now we're back. The longest hiatus. It wasn't the longest hiatus. It was just a bit of a hiatus. It was our longest hiatus on this podcast ever. Oh, okay. So there's a lot of, a lot of crap going on. I haven't been keeping up. Well, there's a lot of crap going on. Like what? Well, uh, apparently Joe Biden is ruining the country. Uh, and, uh, wasn't pick- the country already ruined? Well, he's, you know, bringing it farther down. Okay. Um, you know, picking fights with China. Why is he picking a fight with well, China? Well, Russia. Picking a fight with Russia. Stumbling stumbling upstairs on Air Force One. Uh, <laughs> um, encouraging uh, encouraging a whole bunch of migrants to, uh, to, to try and get amnesty in the United States. Wow. Uh, wow, the... So the wheels have already come off? And the uh, Democratic Party is trying to get through all kinds of gun control measures, uh, tax hikes, uh, bribes, and uh, what else is there? Oh, yeah, there's there's uh, there's a bit of a feint to try and make the most recent um, lone gunman mass shooting. Well, mass shooting being shooting of multiple people uh-huh. seem more like an anti-Asian thing. Which uh, it wasn't? Well, we don't know. And, um, oh yes, a whole lot of Asians have been attacked by, by white supremacy in the form of black assailants. Uh, that's, I'm confused. That doesn't make any sense. Right. So all the attack, there, there have been a lot of, there have been an increase apparently of attacks against, uh, against elderly Asian people. Okay. Which makes it, which makes it kind of funny because people think that Asians are, you know, well, it's like it's like years ago when people thought that the Jewish kids were the uh, you know the the sickly little kids that couldn't do anything, uh-huh. can't eat, you know, just just these sickly people because they go into the professional into into professional professions. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of a lot of times people think Asians are the same way. Uh, but the funny thing is, is you know, Asia is like what forty five countries. I mean, Asia isn't one country. Apparently not. I have no idea. I thought you all came from China. I'm just kidding. Well, there is a lot of uh, usage of Chinese culture. I'm trying to be funny, so it's not going to be funny. Yeah, you you kind of suck at that, but but. So I haven't seen all this all this Asian hate crime. I mean, I I, I mean maybe I've just been spending too much time in my house or something, but I feel like that's made up. Oh yeah, Tucker Carlson's having a big big uh, big spat with the upper echelons of the military. Why? Well, some people think it's because Tucker poo-pooed uh, pregnant women in flight suits. Uh-huh. Well, the military's gone all, all work now. Well, I know. First of all, let's roll things back here. The military is a, is a wing of the government. Right. So thinking that, that any wing of the government is based on achievement or ability or, you know... Well, I've run out of synonyms for achievement and ability. I was going to say no how. That too, but that's ability, I suppose. That's uh, that's just not a that's not a thing in government. And the military is included in that. Well, yeah. Huh. But there are some who also think that it's uh, because you know, a small light a light has been shown on the fact that the the upper echelons of the military, the the high officers, the flag officers, the four star generals and admirals, that when they retire, mm-hmm. they go to. Uh, Go to big bad um, defense contractors, and earn shit tons of money. And then sometimes they go back <laughs> into into government. So what's this? But that's not what I was going to talk. That's just kind of a, a recap of the of the stuff that's been going on. Now the last people couple don't have to listen to the news. Well, that's the thing. There's a there's a couple of things that just kind of I've been pondering. One is the effect of propaganda on people, and two, how smart are we? Because if you go down to brass tacks, the best that any that about eighty to ninety percent of us can hope for is just being considered not smart. 
But before that, the question is, is our species a species that has any kind of intelligence? Are we smart to begin with? And can we get there? And, well, if, and if we can, we can we can already just presuppose and say, yes, we can. So then, <clears throat> then what percentage of the population would you consider smart? All of us? Half of us? My gut response is that we are smart. Okay, fine. But then I think about all the fucking dumbassery. So. Well, that's because you're falling into the trap of we're all one thing all the time. Or the thing that we are, we are a significant amount of the time. But we're stupid. Like, we do stupid stuff. We do smart stuff. We do stupid stuff. No, we do good stuff. We do evil stuff. I think there's more stupidity, though. Right, which goes on to my, my thing of smart. What would be considered smart? Like, if you had a, if you had a group, uh -huh. how much of that group would, would, would be considered smart? Uh, See, arbitrarily, I think, you know, between 80 to 90, between 10 to 20 percent being would, generous. Would be smart. Or could be considered smart compared to the rest of the group. Uh-huh. But then there's also that thing where they say that if you're really smart, you're also crazy, which I think is more propaganda. So the only people that are smart are, are crazy? Well, there is a high incidence between manic depressives and super smart people. Is that true, or is that just something that people are saying? I think it's true. So only manic depressive people are super smart? No, 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 no. There's a significant proportion of people who are manic depressives who are super smart. I don't no, know. No, it's the other, other way. It's the other way around. What? It's the other way around. Smart people are manic depressives? Yes. Well, it's not all of them, though. Right, but you're saying that among super smart people, that there's a higher, you're saying there's a higher incidence of like mental instability. Much, much higher. That's not that's not the same as saying that mental mentally insta unstable people are super... There's a higher incidence of intelligence among mentally unstable people. Okay, that's what I was trying to say, was that amongst the intelligent people, <clears throat> more manic depressives, like, way more. Maybe. I mean, I'm... This is coming from, you know... Well, we're not, we're not into research here, so it really doesn't matter. Yeah. But that, I think, is true. I mean, I think it comes with the territory for some reason. So then, pretty much, if you're kind of even keel, then you're you're probably not smart. No, I'm not saying that. I don't know, but that and the the see the, that and the propaganda thing is I think is is really funny because people sit there and say that the if you hear something often enough, then you'll just begin to believe it, which kind of counteracts the whole thing about being smart. In my opinion, the more I see people, the more I think we're not smart, and that it's just like a fucking well, it's miraculous. You got several layers of things going on in that one thought. One pot or pot? pot. Thought. Sure we do all, sure we do super stupid things. We do super super cowardly things. We do super brave things. We do super th this whole idea that, you know, even a preponderance of the time that we are going to be one thing, that's that could just be situational. Most people are good because they have no choice but to be. There's no opportunity for them to be bad. And even if they, they are bad, they're not going to do it because they're afraid of some kind of consequence, a negative one at that. Right. Why is it that most of the people that do the most uh, corrupt stuff in positions of power? Because they can. Well, they think they're not going to get pinged on it. Because they think they can. Same difference. Yeah. Similar difference, I think. Not same. Because, you know, there's no consequences. They, don't, they think there is none. Right. And there might not be. I think it depends. Well, that's the whole point. That's that's already kind of that's implied in my statements. Right. But like I said, you in, in in your statements you have like a whole a hodgepodge of assumptions. Like saying someone's good, that's 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 kind of a that's a super big assumption. I mean, you know, do you do you start going to college or university by by skipping class? Uh, no, it's a little bit. It's a it's a it's a little bit of a of a process. You skip one class, and you're like, oh, that's not so bad. So you start skipping others. Sometimes, and then you're done. Not necessarily. I mean, depends on. If I had skipped classes, I would have failed for sure. But you skip classes. Only occasionally. But yes, I did skip classes. As does everybody. 
That's because I knew I could get notes or somebody else. Sure. <laughs> I had like at least four people that were that I knew I could hit up for notes. I had one bio class that I decided to skip for three weeks. Really? Yeah, they didn't take attendance and they videotaped. Oh, so you just watched the videos? Yeah. Well, if we missed our classes, we missed our classes. Well, in that situation, I don't. I didn't. I didn't skip. Yeah. Plus, you know, I'm, this this is a class that had like a few hundred people in it, so it's, there's no way anybody would know. Yeah, you can't skip a tutorial with ten people. Never did that. Tutorials? No, skip tutorials. Yeah, tutorials are fun. I wish there was more. How did we get to this point? Oh, I don't know. So let's let's pick one thing to to kind of talk about in depth. Out of out of all those things, anything. How about the, the direction the country is headed in? Well, most people think it's headed in the wrong direction. Like, well, it, what, on both sides? No, I don't think so. I think it depends on what camp you're in. Oh, no. It's on both sides. Everybody thinks it's going downhill. I think a lot of people do. But no, but half the people aren't going to admit that. I think more than half admit it. Surely. Then why did they vote What? how they voted? Like, if, if like, wait, because presumably you, you vote, right, because you think that, that whoever you vote in is going to make the country better. Then you're a dumbass. Full stop. Ah, that's a Kiwi thing. It is. I thought I'd bring it in. I always found period so weird. If you think that passing the buck onto someone else is going to make your life better, I think that's, a, that's an incorrect uh, assumption. But underneath that assumption is that you assume you can make your life better. Like you've got any control over things. Wait, wait, this, wait. This what idea... Is the second part? <clears throat> what? What you just said. That you yourself are in control. That you can sit there and do things to make your life better. Well, I think most people believe that. I think most people believe that because they want to... They want to think that there is some kind of like cosmic justice, but it is woe, woe unto him who believes that cosmic justice is only good. It reminds me of an old, uh, of a, of a, of a, of a story about, uh, Robert E. Lee as a, as a, as the commanding general of the Confederate army and some, some private soldier. Or, you know, somebody somebody had come up to him because he had done something or was accused of doing something wrong. Mm-hmm. And the, um, the the soldier was, was very scared or, you know, very, very anxious. And the general says, are you scared, son? He's like, yes, general, I am. He's like, well, don't worry. You'll get justice here. And the soldier's like, well, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> and, yeah, that's, that's a funny little anecdote, but that is the way that people should be, should be operating in life. That justice is not always good. Justice, if if things were if things were always cosmically just, then no one would get 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 away with anything. And our time. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is that time, actually. I think that that was the bell tolling. I mean, this idea that you have that you that that you can. That, that we can start recording a podcast with having nothing to talk about and just winging it. Uh huh. That's a that's another that's an incorrect assumption. Oh. Well, that assumes that assumes that one or both of us is really good at winging stuff. <laughs> <coughs> well, you're pretty good at winging stuff. I am not. I don't know. I'm just checking on the pizza and the pie. That's right. We're getting ready to have dinner here. Oh, it's looking good, bro. What's but like, recording? but like I said, you know, this whole idea that we are all, or mostly one thing, most of the time, is quite uh, incorrect, and we haven't even got on to propaganda, because if propaganda really affects us the way you know the way that people say it does, which it may then I think that kind of discounts our intelligence. So you think that intelligence... 
would <clears throat> enable you to see through propaganda? Yes. But what if via intelligence we've become way better at exploiting people through propaganda? Possible. Right. But so, that would that would just mean that there's a subset of people, I believe there's a subset of people that always can see through the propaganda, no matter what the propaganda is. I mean, look, we, we've had we've had conversations with, with friends that that uh, that say, look, you know, we need to um, we need to know in all the information that we're given, we need to, we should we should analyze it and figure out, you know, key bono who benefits to know what slant is coming through. Right. That presupposes that we have the intelligence to know that to be able to do that and do it correctly. Yes. But think of all the times people sat there and got an answer that they liked, even though they knew that was wrong. They went with that because they liked that answer. Well, I don't know if that happens a lot or not. It happens all the time. Well, I have seen a situation where people keep on pushing and keep on pushing until they get the answer they want. And then they're like, okay, I'm good. I, I think you can be intelligent and be easily manipulated, though. I believe that those two counter contradict each other. So there's a whole lot of people running around thinking they're intelligent when they're not. Yes. Hmm. I and mean, that's the only real explanation for things. So there's a whole lot of stupid people running around then. No, no. Just because you're not intelligent does not mean you're stupid. I am quite not intelligent with stupid. Well, because you're thinking in a very binary way. Which is easy. You know, a lot of people like to do that. Oh, if this not, is not good, then it must be bad. No, if it's not good, it's just not good. If someone is not intelligent, they're just not intelligent. They're not stupid. We have to go down the scale to see how far down non-intelligence turns into, into stupidity. Well, I, I think it's something else. I think people don't want to know. That could very well be it. Like they, they don't, they just want to be comfortable. They don't want the fucking kid to be pulled back. They just kind of want to, you know. That, that, and to me, that has no bearing on intelligence. That's a different desire. Really? Sure. Everybody wants to be comfortable, I believe. Just because you want comfort doesn't mean that you're not intelligent. Yeah, but if you, what about if you like uh, blindly ignore stuff? You know, reality. What do you mean? Like, okay, you're an intelligent person. You can, if you really wanted to, you could assess things, figure stuff out for yourself, figure out what's going on, but it's uncomfortable to do so. So you just kind of say, you know what, I'm just going to go along with the crowd, the majority, whatever, and, you know, blindly ignore whatever. Does that make you un does that make you unintelligent or stupid? I or think it makes it you. Just I think it makes you. If you know something is wrong and or something is not correct, mm -hmm. and you still go along with it because it's easy, yeah, then you may be intelligent, but you're also a coward, and that's the thing. I mean, there's too many layers to stuff. All stuff. We do strive to have a binary thing. It's simpler if it's binary. And how has that helped anybody? <laughs> there's definitely overcomplicating things, but there's also oversimplifying things. Oh no, here we go. No, if I if you're truly if you're truly intelligent, then I don't think you're gonna go down a path that's that's uh, not good for you. No, I thought you were gonna start talking about how simple is not simple. Well, simple is not easy. Simple is not easy, there we go. It's and, just, and in odd circumstances, complicated is not difficult. Well, maybe it's just laziness. And it, and it could be, but that's not... I mean, look, see how, see how hard it is? It's hard. It's hard to fucking find the answer, that's for sure. Well, that's because no one wants you to find the answer. If you've got a, if you've got a situation in which you're, you're doing pretty well off the backs of other people, then you don't want those people to make life difficult for you. That's true. Doesn't mean you're intelligent. 
just means you want to keep what you got and get more of it. It's kind of, but that's kind of a, it's a, is that a, it's kind of a street wiseness though, isn't it? That kind of behavior. Maybe. I mean, the ability to be able to like look after yourself at the expense of other people. I think we all have that inherently. Well, I would call that into some a form of intelligence. Again, <laughs> just because just because you have and intelligence isn't like a bunch of check boxes. If you do all ten of these things, it makes you intelligent. That's just like saying if you do really well in school, you're intelligent. No, if you do really well in school, you really know how to tell people what they want to hear. I think there's a lot of people that which doesn't make you intelligent per se. It means you're really good at this thing. And that only really helps you in a society. You know, the, the, the people, the people that have made tons of money off of tech and being super great programmers and, you know, all of society is, has a vested interest in saying, Oh, those people are really smart. Yep. And they're getting all, and they're, they're, they're getting all that achievement because they're really smart and they know what they're doing and blah, blah, this and blah, blah, that. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, well, like Elon Musk, right? He made a whole bunch of money off of PayPal, and I don't know what he did. What, he's like a programmer or some, some crap like that? I don't even know. Well, whatever, right? Or Bill Gates or whatever. Anybody. Steve Jobs. Whoever. Right. Whoever made tons of money doing all this stuff, right? Right. Well, let's transport, let's, let's take these, these super highly intelligent people to a thousand years ago. <laughs> How is any of the stuff that they made their tons of money doing <clears throat> relevant well, it wouldn't in be. a sod hut. It wouldn't be. Where you need to be able to go out and hunt and kill and, and live off the land or whatever. I, I don't think those people would survive. So, yeah. So, it's so a lot of it's just kind of the accident of the times. And there you have it. Mm -hmm.